Get ready for the next battle. So begins a new age of knowledge. Look how the prey scatters before us. As uh, mid tier one's being claimed, and I don't see this being defended. The reincarnation means Matu doesn't really have to be afraid of too much on the front line. A lot of TP's coming out. He'll be glimpsed back into the midst of the kinetic field. They get a good fruit. Like Summer Man tanking the tower at the Hex. moment. The Hex indeed immediately there. The follow through Chrono to trap off Error. They take down the Juggernaut. They have lost for Summer Man, but indeed without second life. He may be ready to go back for more. They've got a good route to hold him back again, but he hits the stun onto the Mirana. Trixie comes up with a good power strike onto it. In fact, that's resulted in escape. Finding a kill in return. Arrow flies forward to be duped out by Mind Control. He'll be able to get himself back to safety, but mid lane Koifer continues to chase down Miracle under the tower. I was hoping for a route, didn't quite get it. In fact, while well, he gets the route, in fact, onto Kuroki, he just turns his attention towards the line. Sinner in there as well. They're looking for the body blocks with the bear. One more touch will do it. And Escape able to find some good kills in return for losing error. And they're not done yet. Yap and Trixie jumping Radiant forward, Sun looking for the miracle kill. They'll find that as well. One kill and also getting out of objective as the push is starting to come through thick and fast. And at the same time, top lane Matuma Man was looking for something, but the TPs are coming through. And Matuma Man is he going to be punished? He's going to be able to dodge the arrows. He heads behind the creep wave. Cinder though with the glimpse, bringing him back into the, the kinetic field. Is he killing Watts? Trixie's got to be careful. Takes a huge crit to the face. He'll jump forward. They'll finish off Matuma Man for, for the first time. Can they kill him a second time? GH is there with a big fissure that takes down the Sand King. Mind control turning for well, allowing them to get a second kill. They're jumping forward for more. Chrono's back up in 10 seconds. Aaron and Yapso have to be incredibly careful here. It's Liquid chasing down more. Can they get something else out of this? Oh, did see the Echo Slap coming out? But he was already in the Omni Slash. So it does absolutely nothing. And out from Yap holding back Matuma Man. Miracle now turns up. They'll drop the Chrono in the Sun strike to find that kill.
options. Crack, there's no healing watch in the fight Watch out for GH's echo. It could be absolutely huge here. Skip out to be very careful that the clump up. Immediate Chrono gonna be dropped down onto Sin. Now look to, to remove the... Just going out the fight, just rough down Trixie. Jumps in with a bow strike. GH is gonna be hot in the case of Trixie. They have the Hex for Croak, so they continue to close down. But the Radiance Burn, actually bringing line incredibly low. Croak, he might just go down to the Radiance. He's falling low and he falls out. He's down. They've already found a second kill. Matuma Man turns towards the bear, trying to bring it out, but a good stuff from Yapso allowing them to get the damage and onto GH. The Radiance from the bear continues to tick down GH. He tries for the TP out. He is gonna make it nothing to hold him back in time. To the man and Michael Charles surrounding the token off, but he gets the Omni Slash out. Eris survives, healing walls out as well. Now Mike Charles has to be careful. But to my man with his second life, ready for round two, going straight back in onto Yapsa. But the savage roars there from Quake, but forcing back Mike Control and the Tuma Man away from the, their cause. Eric chases him down with the Blade Fury. He's going to be able to take down the Raised King. Reacting before escaping the get the place. Kuroki and Monk are trying to close the gap. They get the Chronos. Good one this time oh, onto nice two. Immediately sending the void back out of this. He'll get the burst onto the lone druid. They come in with the echoes now. Trixie falling down low. Himself away immediately. They haven't got Koifa for this fight. Losing him at the start of this. So this could be what exactly Liquid have been looking for. And indeed it is. They take three down. But Tuma Man looking for more. The Omni Slash coming through from Aero. Turns his attention towards GH. Trying to walk his way out to the sideline. Aero the only one left alive on the side. He's got to get himself away. They're chasing though. But Tuma Man, Miracle and Mind Control jump in and find the Team White. in the fight. It's also something to help hold back these, these BKB cores if he gets a good bash. But to my man, they jump again immediately. They found now Error, Error needing help. He is going to get it. Static Storm is laid down. Error Blade Fury forming away. To my man has the BKB though. Mike Shot comes in with a quick prone onto Sinner and Sinner is out of this fight. Quite for trying to work his way onto GH. GH trying to hold him back but he's gone. They've lost the Earthshaker. Error coming in with a quick Omni Sash onto Mind Control. Time walks off to the sidelines with Trixie, Error and Yonzo on the chase down. Meanwhile on the left of it all Quite for is finishing off the back line as Mind Control goes to the TP out. The glimpse is there, so Mind Control will be held in place for the time being. They'll continue to chase him down, and Escape Gaming should be able to finish off the faceless void as well. And indeed, they do think get the deny, he can't. Oshaker will be respawning with a blink Echo Slam, the one thing to be worried about, but they may have lost the racks already by then. It's him, man. Come on, man. How's he going to take the, the aggression of the bear? He gets rooted up, does have to reincarnate. 
may be a bit of a blessing because he's getting caught down incredibly low. Oh, he gets a good EMP from Miracle on to Trixie. Trixie trying to get himself out. He's not going to make a GH coming in with the Echo Slam. In the midst of it all, they focus on Tazina and they turn their attention towards Koi Fera coming in and he needs to help out the team. But it's a good stun from Kuroki catching the multiple heroes out. Hex now and Finger bursting out incredibly low. He mounts a stall. Blade Fury is his way out of there. Yaps was still fighting on the front lines looking for Miracle. He made to catch the Radiant Burn, but GH is there with the Fisher. Kills the bear, takes him out. They also find the main hero. Koi was out once, has the reserve and brings I it back in, helped. using it to hold back Matumba Man. He's already used the reincarnate Matumba, so has to be careful once that BKB runs out. And already, they want to go back in Miracle. You see across onto the range Crypt. GH is going to take an arrow to the backside. He's down. But again, the sentry and ops placement from escape, meaning that they see the jump. It's still going to come in immediately. Caught up by the first stone for it for Trixie. Mind control coming in though with the two man chrono. Gets Koifer on the back lines, but as well as Trixie. A good Omni Stash comes through and they'll take down the Tumba Man. Once. Miracle's actually going to drop as well. GH no coming on the back lines with the Echo Stone. Catching down Koifer, but Tumba Man's in with the damage. They found the lone Druid error. Pop the BKB and running. They may not have the Invoker, but escape. they don't have a Sand King, they don't have a Lone Druid. This is the fight that Liquid want to look to take. Yaps are coming in with the e -blade. and the Star Storm able to burst down Kuroki. There's a good for Syndra to rip Matumba Man away from Error, but already Matumba Man's ripped Error to pieces. The only Syndra's one. Why not? Uh, well, he's been scattered. Ah, uh, yeah, the Trixie immediately jumping forward. The E Blade that looks to burst him down low. He's essentially going to survive that initial oh bit of magical God, burst and the heals still. from the crit. What? Indeed, bringing him back up. He's still playing around the bit. The he's taking an incredible beating and he's still not going down. They drop the static storm. He pops the BKB, but Tumba Man finally drops on the sidelines. The Trixie already being forced back. Mike Drop jumps, he gets the bash off. They're taking the SK out of this fight. And look, there's the Chrono. Catching out Sin is not the flashiest, but it allows them to. The setup as well with, between the, the Shaker and the, the, the Void. Jump in from Yapsu. It's gonna force Escape to go onto them, Matu. Which is gonna turn onto Error and a mind control gets a beautiful Chronosphere catching out three members. Trixie will be in on the back lines though with an episode of Burrow Strike. And move forward with the Bears. They put the beacon with the Star Storm is taken out. Koroki is taken down, but Superman for the first time. Escape, can the Flamingo says anything more? They look to lock down the bear onto Matumba. GH is there with the fishes to try and help him get out. GH immediately TP's away. Matumba Man's hitting an obvious slash to the face. And it's. A bit concerning. We've seen how quick the bear can take down these structures. Modifications come out from Liquid. Miracle and Kuroki are going to do their best to hold back the bear. Ice falls down. The bear just turns his attention back towards the racks, pops the BKB. And there, finally gets the punches through. Stunned down initially. He's found half of the racks already. Looking to finish it off. And can't quite get it though. The disarm and the stun bringing him back out. Mike Joe jumps forward. At the same time, they've actually tried to start the fight themselves. Yapsu leapt in, but the reactions there from Link with GH bursting him down. There's been a buyback from Matuma Man. They're looking for more. They'll find Cinderella on the escape as well. Illusion! Should be game over for Liquid. So Matu taking no chances, uses his buyback. Now gets found the top lane. Hex around it here, Trixie and Error coming in, but Tumba Man pops the BKB, tries to turn, he needs a good few Chris to deal with this though. back up nearby. Uh, he's out, and for once, Mike Control pops down the Chronosphere, he's managed to find Error in it, post Omni Slash, and they'll turn and take it, that's the jump down, and down for a good 90 seconds, of course, with that buyback still on cooldown. The Liquid, so if they can chase for anything more here, Mike Control just gets the first hit bash onto the bear, Diffuser Blade charge as well to hold it in place, Kuroki gets burst down on the back lines by Yapsaw with the E-Blade, they'll take down the bear though, that's the bear out for Koikfer, and they're jumping in for more here, Liquid. It's 
towards Yapsol, getting themselves behind the tower. Miracle, who can you find with this play? Mind Control's already found the bash onto Sinner and taking down the Disruptor. Mind Control, but Tum and that turn their attention towards Trixie. Jumping from GH, gets the Fisher off onto Yapsol. Liquid surrounding the Narana as well. They find a full... Still on cooldown, they're gonna have Wing all more GH jumping in, pops the G's, and in fact they've got the lockdown they need on to Yapsor. He's now out for 90. Oh, GH is... Oh no, he missed the static score. Oh, Cinderin, at times like this you, you can't have these slip-ups. You're playing with your backs against the wall, Liquid knows the Mirana. Next going for the throne here, they say there's a T to a top yep. let's... Let's take bigger objectives. Let's take the game three. Can they actually stop this? Tumalanja it, jumps in immediately onto the bear. Mind Control has the Chrono locking down, taking the mana away with that Diffusal Blade as well. That's going to be the bear out. Quite for low, surrounded by Liquid. The Omni Slash has come through from error, but it doesn't seem to be enough damage at all. It barely tickles them. They turn their attention towards Jug. Liquid look to be doing it here in game three as Trixie and Error try to get back to the base, back to Fnatic days. They're not going to make it. Error's out. Trixie as well. GG well played is called. That was nothing in the forecast. Ah! And eternity spent in vain. There can be no forgiveness. There is no honor in defeat. The crown of sand has fallen. Retribution in action. Just as I envisaged. I have rendered it thus with my will alone. The earth is ours. I merely released a wraith within. <laughs>